time once again for Larry's Garden. Joining us this morning is Larry O'Neill. Talking about poinsettias, of course, it is the holiday right. season officially now, so we got these right, beautiful exactly. plants that just look to me like Christmas. Right, right yeah. These are some great looking poinsettias, and you can get any of these varieties at Ace Hardware. There's some great ones locally grown, too. Here's a beautiful one, red, you know, that's our traditional number one selling, Freedom. They have all different kinds of colors in them. Uh, this one here is called uh, Spilt Paint, you know, a little bit of red and uh, pink variegation. You know, then they're traditional. Some people like this white, you know, Christmas poinsettia you know hanging baskets another way you can use them here's a little bit of an interesting one called stra uh, strawberry and cream you know that beautiful white and pink variegation just the huge huge varieties you know they've just hybridized these things for uh, decades and then this is Christmas rose some of the things you can remember when you want to grow in poinsettias in your house is keep them away from heater vents and then also they like it dry you know originally from uh, Mexico Brought to us by the uh, Mexican ambassador, Robert Poinsetta. And uh, has a little historical link here. Uh, Mr. Bartram put these into cultivation. So they're, they're an interesting plant. Has a little history. But here, you, let's just look at how dry that soil is. And, you know, it's not wilting. It's, it's, it's a tough plant. It's going to want it on the dry side. So one of the big mistakes people make is they overwater them. They wilt. They rot. So they can't make it through the season. Also, those plastic little wraps they put around them, you want to make sure that you punch holes in them if you want to keep them on. Often, I just take them out, put them in a beautiful pot, and they'll do, and they'll do great. Uh, some of the things you also want to remember about poinsettias is, is they're not poisonous. Un, you know, they, everybody goes, well, I don't want those in my house. So, not, so we can eat them or what? Not, yeah, here's one right here. Yeah. <laughs> mm, tastes like chicken, you know what I mean? Okay, but, uh, I'll take your you word know, for it. Euphorbia is a, a plant sometimes people think they're poisonous. It's a great plant. Why are they so popular? Why is this, the, this is like the, the flower of Christmas? Why is that? Go swallow well, that last little piece. <laughs> Get it down. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they're traditional. As far as they, they were originally used for for uh, the uh, color of the leaves. You know, they may die out of them. Sure. But uh, they just caught on as a Christmas plant because of the color, the red color. And you say they're one of the biggest cash crops. Yeah, so they sell more poinsettias uh, and than any other potted plant in America. That's so amazing. I mean, I know a lot of people buy them. They're, you right. always see them in, in church and everything. I saw them in, in my church growing up. But sure. people actually can grow them. Right, outside. Outside. Right, you know, some of the things, because we live in zone 9A, 8B, you know, uh, we can put them along the building area. So keep them in good condition. You know, uh, to make sure you keep any of the bugs off them during the season. And you can, after it warms up in the summer, you can plant them outside on a southern exposure, you know, uh, where it's going to stay warm. you got to remember that you got to fertilize during the season and also cut back in June to keep them nice and compact. You want to cut them back to about this height right there, and then they'll flush out and, you know, look great. Okay. Some of the things also they need is a little bit of fertilizer. They're a little bit of a hungry plant, so put a little bit of fertilizer on them. Okay half strength in the house and you'll be ready to have good looking poinsettias all summer and all uh, winter long. Awesome. Larry, right. thank you so much. All right, for more information about gardening, log on to larrysgarden.com. You can give them a call at 